Yeah, join off me. I think, th yeah, they should have a, an observer, so just ignore that. Brady, you can join off me. Should be, one sec. Hello and welcome to another SVU live broadcast. I'm Coach Kev, joined by J Moff. What's up, J Moff? Oh, what's up, Kev? How's it going? Going fantastic. We got a Halo game for y'all tonight. It's going to be the Knights versus York College. York. Last time we, you know, we left them off playing Illinois. Um, did a great job. weren't able to pull out the victory, but they played really well. I'm, I'm excited to see what these guys bring to the table here against York. Yeah, this is going to be a cross conference game. Um, Knights, you know, really, really tough conference. The toughest conference, like, objectively. You know, Fisher, Illinois. I mean, where, um, else, where else would you put us? <laughs> you know, so, yeah, they're going to be getting in against York here, cross-conference. We won the last one against Northwood. We'll see what we can do um, against York. But, yeah, this is going to be a best of five. Um, and, you know, there's a lot to get into. Like you said, the Illinois game, it was night and day how how much better the Knights were playing than earlier in the season when they played them the first time. Um so we'll have to see if they're able to continue that going. Um, but, yeah, so we're going to be jumping in right now. Yeah, jumping in. So we got, for those of you who aren't familiar, Frosty Freeze, Dirty Dan, Bo Jiden, and, and Jolly Full um, running up our roster here tonight. Um, and, yeah, I'm excited to see what these guys bring to the table. You know, they've done really well. We've seen them improve a lot on, on you know, taking very measured approaches regarding the power-ups and power weapons and things like that, really kicking off the gates or kicking strong out of the gates. Uh, for most of the matches, um, and so we love to see that continue. And then along with that, just just you know the focus fire and stuff is kind of stuff we were talking about. Just just shooting with intent to, um, at, with your teammates at the same time, right? Like you get those yeah. two guns on one man. I think you know the nice could be really unstoppable if we see see some of those improvements. Um, starting off strong here, so it looks like um, we are playing capture the flag. Yeah. So this map, uh, I don't think we've seen this map on stream no, yet. No, I don't think so. Um, so this map, uh, it, it's actually a really fun capture the flag map. Uh, not that that means it's balanced, but it is fun. Um, both teams do get a sniper in their spawn, um, so you'll see the sniper on both sides, uh, which is nice. You know, you have access to that, um, and kind of the best sniper wins, you know, type of situation. Um, but this is capture the flag, so as you you know, as you guys know, it's uh, you know first to five flags, or if time 
time runs out, whoever has the most flags. Um, but at the end of the day, you got Slay out. Knights coming out strong with the slaying. Haven't been able to get to the flag, but they are encroaching on the enemy base. So we'll see if they're able to eventually pick that one up. Uh, capture flag takes a lot of teamwork, right? Like, ooh, losing oh, yeah. a 1v1 there. Frosty going to go down. But the kill gets picked up by Dirty Dan. There's that teamwork, right? Yeah, Watch exactly. The backs, make it happen. Yeah, because the trick with capture flag is, you know, you got to, like, find your way on offense while... You know, also defending your flag, but you don't want to be too defensive, or you know, it just takes one bad right. fight. You know, this isn't League of Legends where you're getting stronger, there's right? Only four of you to do all that, it's, right? Like, yeah, there's, there's a lot happening. So it's 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 kind of hard. Um, but and, and when you get a fight, you want to have like if you get a few kills, like three three kills or so, you want to be able to pull the flag. So you want to have somebody s somewhat in good position to be ready to do that. Um, but you also got to stay organized, stay on defense. You know, know when to like play your life know when to back off because we lost our defenders you know and all these types of things so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah you know that's doing doing a great job fighting so far yeah, yeah count. sneaking in Ooh, has a sniper gonna take it. does not want to drop the sniper uh, not sure if he stole that from the enemy he's actually going to push in with it look for the no scope not gonna be able to get it no scoping is the main thing with the sniper in halo yeah we do have two snipers so we did swipe our sniper which can be huge might lose it here though yeah. Can't quite win the 1v1. Two down here for the Knights. It's huge if you use it, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ooh, Dan will pick it up. Dan coming out strong with six kills here, leading the, the board on both sides. Um, so good job by Dirty Dan. We've seen him. You know, he's very snowball player. Sometimes he's hot, sometimes he's cold. Um, but he's looking hot right now, and that's what you want to see if you're a Knights fan. Heck yeah, and you know some slow, it's kind of slow, maybe maybe both teams kind of play in their lives a little bit, I don't know. Um, on your experience on this map, Kev, is it relatively difficult to take, yeah, take these flags sometimes? It is, because like it's a huge map, and the the main way you're going to get the flag, you know, like there's usually there's like a little teleporter you can take to go up. Uh, Alright, we're seeing a little flank here from Frosty Freeze, actually. And this is the teleport I was talking about. This is going to boop, boop you up. And this is a good sniping position right here. Um, flag's right below him, but yeah, he's going to get back smacked there. So, they saw it coming. Nobody watching his back telling him that there was a guy following him up. Uh, but yeah, so, like I was saying, you got to be, you know, able to get the flag back. So, it's not just pulling the flag, but it's getting it to a location where you can keep running you know it, it's not like aquarius where you can duck get into the get into the fridge or you know get into the mid get past the mid and get that big wall there's a lot of line of sight here you can get along the sides but um i think this is just a really even matchup here um so the fights are just going so back and forth that no one really has the opportunity to grab the flag and like you said these teams are going to be more defensive than offensive right like that's just kind of the nature of it. but here's a good push from the knights frosty freeze pushing in um Bo as well playing some defense here, so the attack gets gets sworded out. Yeah, but it's, it's, uh, I'm noticing a pattern of you know more easily defense, more easily defended defending attacks right, than it is to like actually actually make one of these work out for these teams. Uh, you know, it is still the first round, right? So there's going to be some yeah. feeling each other out. Um, and, and, and it's one of those things where, you know, sometimes the one whoever captures the flag first has that advantage, um, can kind of sit on it, but it also makes the other team more aggressive. So that might open things up. It's kind of yeah. like a soccer game, right? right like, right, right. it opens up completely once you get that first goal. Um, so we'll see what happens here. Um, Knights definitely, are, I think, are the more aggressive side so far, of what, some, of what I've seen. But as I say that, the flag does get pulled. Can the defense, if Frosty Free is going to be on, I'm going to take, take, take him down. Uh, the Knights should be able to return that. Dirty Dan sitting on the sniper for a while here. Uh, teams usually have, like, you know, a dedicated sniper. You know, you want to have your best best shooter with the gun. Get the, get the most value out of it. Exactly. It's also smart to have them on defense. You know, one snipe, even if you don't get the headshot, it takes away so much of their shield uh, that they, they kind of deters the attack. Dan are going to go in. Yeah, Actually going to trade him, one with him. Yeah, so three dead here for the Knights, but two dead for York. Solo defense here for Bo. Can't quite get the kill, so that's going to be the flag. Is Mia now. Knights are going to have to try to get that one back. Frosty Freeze will go down, it so a moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're seeing uh, the Knights not be able to figure this one out quite. They don't have a sensor of where it is. They're going to be killing the defenders here, so here comes the push. Dirty Dan pushing up, getting the assist there. Jolly, the Jolly and Dirty yeah. going in together. Jolly at one. Dirty's going to pull the flag. Dan's running, taking it to the left side. Can't quite win that 1v1 fast enough. He will get attacked from behind, and there's a grenade to follow. So, 
He they, died. <laughs> they do have we do have control over our flag. It seems like should be able to return this. But yeah, this is the this is the back and forth. So close there, almost had a pull. Um, but yeah, it does go down in the end. No, but what you saw there, you know, I mean, I, we really appreciate that. Some of the things we're talking about, right? You walk up together. You've got mm -hmm. two guns. It it doesn't matter, you know, what what they do. It's going to be such. You can't, it's so hard to win a one v two, right? They like, got to play that so well, and, and and they just aren't going to. So you're able to seek that. Exactly. Hopefully, the nice keep that up. Um, I think that's a, that's a great sign for tonight. Yeah, and, that, and that's a good coordinated push. Like you can't, you know, this isn't like a game where you can have like a, you know, set strategy that you're going to do, and it, it's kind of go with the moment. You know, play by ear. Right? Yeah, yeah. You got to be able to communicate with what you got, where you spawn, how to use it. Uh, he's going to go up and uh, zoom past the flag here. Dirty Dan pushing up, got control. We'll go down. Frosty as well. That's Bo getting a kill there. So the defense still looking good here for the Knights. Bo trying to get up here, pull the flag. He's going to go look for a triple almost. He did get the assist on the second one. But great job there by Bo. Uh, see if he can get onto this flag and pull it back a little bit. He's going to try to grenade. But no backup there. I felt like that could have been a pull. That's close. You know, the flag is down on the, on the ground there. But no one able to actually get their mitts on it. So it will be returned. And you're seeing them try to drop it down there. But then you're just in this zone of death. So the Knights definitely with more pressure. Definitely... Uh, you know, winning out on that front, but it doesn't really matter until you can get that cap. Four minutes left, and still not a zero cap. Yeah, that's true. It, it, it like you said, you know, the Knights actually like have our, that's what their fourth attempt or, or third yeah. attempt, right? Like so much, so more, much more proactive. Um, yeah, so they're guarding up a guarding up the power up there. Good job by Frosty Free. Seeing him going for that, he's gonna pick up that kill. Can he get another? Yes, he does. So two dead here, but the snipe comes in on Bo. So it's a three v two situation. Frosty going the long way, though. Not going to be able to get up there and before the respawns. Dirty Dan goes down, and so our flag gets pulled. See what anyone can do. Here comes Bo on defense. Going to fight, fight in the back. That's a sniper down. Yeah, Frosty does grab sides. their sniper, but loses it in the process. So the Knights do return the flag. And this is a close one here, Jamoff. We, You know, no one... This might be a whoever caps the first one wins. Yeah, three and a half minutes left. I mean, talks, clock's ticking at this point. All right, so we got to push on the right side. Jolly leading the way. And this is the long, you know, elbow here. Losing out on the 1v1. Loses his aim there. And that one's going to cost him. That's going to cost the attack. It's just frosty now. No defense is left up. You will be respawning back there. So, But all dead here for the Knights is not a good sign. They do die in the offensive way. So you do get a chance to respawn. But you're going to come back. You're going to be kind of, you back know. Foot though, yeah, right? yeah. You're going to be kind of befuddled. They can move up, take position. Like they're doing right now. Get a crossfire going. The Knights do shoot their way out of it somewhat. Uh, but definitely can't lose another fight, or that will be the cap and probably the game. So Knights are gonna have to find a way to fight back, pushing out from their base now. It's always risky when you when you die like that because you don't know where you're gonna respawn, and you could be anywhere. Um, and and those respawns, you know, you have to coordinate and group up, figure out who's defending what as quickly as possible. All right, two gonna go down for the Knights. Dan gonna go into a one v one, gonna win it easily. Looking for another one. Can he get it? Brings him to one. Can't quite finish it off though. Bo's gonna drop. Dan still pushing on the left side. In a 1v2 situation, though. Gets the kill and still alive. He will go down. But good work by him on the side. Can the Knights capitalize? Frosty going to be pressuring up. He's got Jolly behind him. They're going to go back and defend, though. So here comes the push from the other side. Bo's going to go down. It's Frosty looking for the flag. He will find it. Good shot there from Dan. Frosty's here to back up. And this is the nature of the game where you're seeing both teams scramble on defense rather than offense. So the Knights will get control. Can they return this? It's really, really close. They're trying to get a touch. But a good good return there from Frosty Freeze, giving his life to return that one. And take one kill with them, right? Like, perfect. Exactly. Dan moving up, trying to get some pressure down. Here comes Bo as well. Bo with the invisibility will pick up the flag, and he'll be sneaking out. So he's sneaking. They can't see him. So as long as he doesn't sprint... He's sneaking. He's going to return this. We'll see what he can do. He's going to be trying to jump over this. They don't know where he is. Frosty Freeze is holding it. And you got to feel like York is putting on the pressure here. <laughs> York is scrambling, trying to get back. But here comes Bo. He's going to make a sprint for it. Can he get it? Yes, he will. That's going to be a cap for the Knights with a minute to go. And now York's going to go on the offensive. They have to if they want to take this first round of this best of series. So the Knights have to get their defense in order. Can they keep their flag secure? Can they lock it down for four? 48 more seconds. See, the Knights having such good control over that, that came out like all game, right? But but 
he holds it in his back pocket, right? Both waiting. We got to run the clock down, right? They've got 30 seconds now. They, <laughs> you know, fantastic play. Well done. Uh, we, they, they knew the whole time, right? This is the grand strategy, right? Exactly. They're waiting for the moment there. Now the Knights just have to win their gunfights. They have to just stay calm, stay organized. Here comes the pull. So they will pull the flag. Desperate. York will get it. Get it down here. So the Knights just have to stay alive, keep fighting. You got 15 seconds. You know York's going to be putting everything on it with two alive. I'm not sure if they have enough. That's going to be a good kill there in mid. Uh, gets perfected by Frosty Freeze. Seven seconds. Six. Five. The Knights are... Desperately trying to hold on. They're trying to put the pressure down. They should be able to get this one in. Bo, the hero of the first game. And the Knights are going to go up 1-0 in this best of five. And that was exciting, j -Bow. Really well played. I mean, you know, obviously you can't win every gunfight. But the Knights, I think, doing a great job, like, how they approach these fights. You know, we take the 2v1 every day we get. You know, we push together. Um, we've got we've got a plan, right? We're gonna take that flag somehow. Yeah. Go, Bo, go, Bo, right? Exactly. And that's what happened. That was like exactly what I was saying. Where you know you can't plan. Okay, you know with a minute left, we're gonna get the camo because we know it's gonna spawn them because uh, spawn at that exact time, and we're gonna grab it. We're gonna, you can't plan all that, right? Like you have to just go in the moment. And Bo found the moment. The team coordinated around him. They didn't show their hand. They didn't over push. He gets the flag, goes full stealth, and the knights just go off. They win in their gunfights they're keeping they're keeping york at bay and and bo's able to run that all the way across the map score and in such a close game those are the clutch plays that you look for and that's what esports is made for and and just the nice are so lively like constantly like looking to make this stuff happen right we're pushing we're, this is the objective and we're gonna we're gonna come after you to get it uh so great signs of life uh this is the best of five right so it's the best of five one game one i mean that that feels great Game one, ours. So, yeah, the Knights really, really happy with that. And But I got to say, overall, this is going to be a close one. That, you know, oh, this yeah, might yeah. go the distance. This These, might go game five. There's uh, some close fights. Absolutely. Like, this is going to be Slayer, so this will truly show. You know, I feel like if we, if I had done the math, I think the slaying of last match was, was really close. Oh, yeah. You know, the Knights, so. Knights, though. I, yeah, I think the Knights, think the took, Knights took it, it, but it was close throughout that. And I, I want to see them perform here as well because you go up 2-1 in a best of five, you're feeling really confident. It is true. And, you know, with the more, you know, maybe defensive, less aggressive play style we saw um, from your, like, sometimes playing your life is, is that's like, that's, that's, that's the grand, that's like your goal. That's what you want to do yeah. to slay, right? You just play your life consistently and you win more than you lose even barely. You're going to do just like you're going to own. And, yeah, yeah. And so you could see that coming to play. Um, but the Knights, no, no stranger to slay themselves. <laughs> no, yeah. and, what, and, and, you know, the adrenaline's got to be pumping. What an exciting exactly. first game. Uh, very exciting ending there. Um, that was so hype. You know, the guys got to, you know, you want to ride that momentum. And, you know, York might be, you know, might be feeling a little bit, you know, tilted after that one. I mean, it's, and that's got to be an annoying way to lose, right? Like, oh, yeah. it's like, where's this guy? He has our flag. He's invisible. You know, what a stupid mechanic. Um, but, you know... That's why prioritizing that camo, and we saw that throughout the game, like you said. And this is the progression of the Knights throughout um, this season, where, you know, at first they weren't pr prioritizing those those power-ups, maybe not valuing them. And now, not only are they getting them and valuing them, they're using them they're effectively. winning the game with them. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. So great stuff by the Knights. Um, yeah, this team, I mean, it's just been, it's been so fun to watch them uh, progress. Like, so, so vividly on on stream every time um we see some change they've made some way that they've grown um come together and and, and play really well obviously put on a great show but win more importantly yeah, yeah, yeah. like we're seeing this is a this is a, a game down um we're feeling good um and hopefully they ride the momentum like you're saying Kev, so. yeah so we're going in map number two so the night's up one zero in this best of five it'll be on live fire we know oh, yeah. this map very familiar with this map, and it will be Slayer. So we don't often see Slayer on this map. I feel like we always see Oddball on oddball this map, right you know, and maybe Stronghold. But, yeah, like Slayer coming out on this. Uh, I'm excited for this one. I like this map. Uh, it's interesting to see the strategies in Slayer um, because, you know, when you're playing solo queue, there is no strategy in Slayer, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> you just go and Slayer. Right? <laughs> but uh, in this team play, there definitely is. Um, so you guys throw out the sphere there. It's actually going to help the enemy. So this is on side of, of York right here, I think. Gonna gonna be able to take that first push here. But yeah, so these, these engagements. Um one to one or one to two now, right? Like playing fairly slow here. Yep, yep. The playing Knights playing a little bit a little bit frantic here. Uh trying to get this overshield. 
can't oh, quite man. get it. So we're seeing them focus that, but a little bit too, a little bit too hard. And, and you're going to be down five one here early. And we know how it is in Slayer. You could recover, you could start winning, but if you drop those kills early, it can come back to bite you in the long run. Especially if you lose then the overshield to it, right? It's, it's mm -hmm. a very Putting put bullets in this Boom. guy will take him down. The knight's in a hole early. You gotta play your life. Obviously, lives way more important. Good follow up there from Bo. Gonna cover up Frosty Freeze and get that kill. So the knight's only down five. Uh, shouldn't be that big of a deal in the long run, but they definitely have to focus up. And this is one of those, you know, modes that is kind of hard to play after a win. You know, you're all hyped up. You want to go running and gunning, but there's nothing to direct you, right? right? Like, yeah, there's the overshield, yeah, there's the sniper, but there's no objective. So it's like you don't want to get disorganized because if the other team out organizes you in Slayer, they're just going to slaughter you with their crossfire, uh, with, you know, multiple guns on the same person. But now we're seeing the Knights set up at tower, and this, this is what is I like great. to see. This is the organization and the patience that the Knights didn't have at the beginning of the season. Um, and they have it now. That's going to be a kill picked up. Can Frosty clean this up? Yes, he will. So both sides down to one <laughs> man. This is going to be a bloody one. And I'm hoping that those five kills don't come back to bite the Knights in the long run. Because yeah. that's what we're seeing here. I was going to say, exactly. You see the bars ticking up, but there's still that the gap of five. And that's, I mean, we can see that the whole game through. At that which point, the Knights are going to lose. There is, I think, yep, there's the a sniper. There's a sniper. A double kill out. coming out. Dirty Dan. Dan going for the double kill. The overshield is popping. Can the Knights get over there? Dan's going to go over. He's going to get that kill. Jolly's going to clean that one up. They do get the overshield. He pumps a sniper bullet, goes wide, and he will go down. A little flank angle there, and that's a disorganization. We're talking about those spawns. If you're not keeping track of the spawns, then, then you're going to be in trouble. The Knights do cut it to three, so the Knights doing well so far. Here comes Frosty trying to get this one up. He will actually get the sniper in his hands. We'll get the assist there, so the Knights doing well here, but York is coming out. York is pissed. York wants to Tie up this best of five at one. Bo in a good position here. Shooting out, shooting down from the skies. Love to have the high ground in this game. He's so much easier to shoot headshots. We'll try to clean this one up and we'll do so. So this is back and forth just as we thought. Yeah, Jay very Moff. close game. But but that lead, like still prominent. Um, but the Knights are closing, right? Knights are closing in, like you said, only down to three. Yeah, Bo gonna force him into the window. Bo in a 1v2 situation will go down. So that, that's kind of where you get into caught, caught in those awkward situations. You kind of have to find a way to back up, find a way to play your life, uh, install. I mean, you can get over a free kill. He did get good position, pushed him back to A, but can the Knights fight their way through? They do grab the sniper, but Dan loses it in the bot tunnel. So we'll see if they can reclaim that one. Seen right here, Jolly going in, going to get the beat down. He will drop the sniper. So that is sniper for the Knights if they can pick it up. Who they want to put it on. That's going to be another kill going over to Frosty. So good job by Frosty. He will pick up the sniper. So the Knights going to play back to the tower. Cut it to one. So this is a really close game. And this is going to be a close series. Excited to see how this one plays out. I want to see what the Knights can do. Yeah. This next overshield is coming up in 20 seconds. I like the consistency, right? Knights consistently playing just a little bit better, right? That's why we're slowly yep. catching up. And that, that, that bodes very well, I think, for the, the last half of this game as we push, push those half. Exactly. Nice. Good Boom. job there from Frosty. He does get stuck, though. So we'll go down. Here we go. Noob combo. Gets <laughs> noob combo. Good job by Bo picking that one up. They won't have it, though, if the overshield's picked up. So trying to get the kill, they will. So nice. he can't pop the overshield in time. Frosty's going to push up. Can he grab the overshield in time? He's not quite looking for it just yet. Maybe he did. He's shooting the gr He's just trolling <laughs> as usual. Uh, so I don't know if we did we pick up that overshield. I feel like it's over there still. We better have. Uh, <laughs> I don't think he popped it unless they killed him while 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 it was down. But neither team going for it. Pushing in now. The knights. Look at this aggression coming out. Jolly going in. Jolly doesn't care. She Double kill down. for Jolly. Knights just decimating. They tried to hold up that spot. The knights up three now. Playing with confidence. I mean, it, I mean, we didn't need the overshield anyway. Yeah, so we saw York setting up base at B, and we just overran it. Just went down there and decimated them, pushing them back to A. They're in garage. Going to put the sphere down. Will go down, though. Dan will die. No backup to be had. They let mid is open. So the Knights could get collapsed on here. Not the best shooting I've ever seen. We'll lose the 1v1. Frosty going to follow in. Going to be in too much over his head there. And the Knights are getting, getting a little spread out here. Out here. Yeah. Losing their, losing their focus, losing their organization, getting a little too hyped up, and you gotta stay the course. You gotta stay calm. And this is where, you know, when they were losing, we saw that. Now that they're, now that they're up, they're getting a little cocky. You gotta play the game, play smart. Winning is the goal. 
Bo, great, great kill. And Bo leading the Knights in kills, leading the whole game in kills, fragging out right now. And the hero of game one still looking strong here. Look at him. He's, he's generous. He's giving kills now. Right? <laughs> All right. The Knights up to what will they plan to do? 14 seconds on the overshield. Here come comes the up. sniper as well. Bo going to go in trying to trade back. Oh, he's going to stick him right in the face. He will suicide <laughs> for it. But he gets the stick. Oh, no. no not what you wanted to, to see. That. Dan had him but couldn't clutch up the kill. Now it's up to Jolly. Three dead. They're going to get the overshield. They're going to get the sniper. The Knights are going to find a way to play around that. You don't want to be bleeding because we actually might be able to contest the sniper. Frosty going to go, but he's going to over pursue. Need some backup here in mid. Dirty Dan's going to try to clean up that kill, but the Knights have to stay organized. They will lose one. Here comes the overshield, though. Now the overshield and sniper against the Knights. That's a lot of kills potential here. So the Knights may be winning for now, but they got to defend this push. They got to defend this aggression here. Frosty will take down one. But loses life in the process. Good team fighting here from the Knights. Coordinated two guns on one man. That's what we want to see. It's coming down to the wire. The Knights up three. Trying to get that sniper dirty. Dan looking. He will play it over. I'd like to see a retake of this tower here. Now that we yeah, Bo and Dan moving on the right side. We'll get noob combo. But there we go with the backup. So Bo shows up and backs up Dan. Dan will go down. But Bo looking good there, has good backup. The Knights still retaining their lead, but you got to clutch up in these last few moments. It only matters who gets the 50. It doesn't matter how close you are. Frosty will pick that one up. Good job there. They have the heat wave. Dirty Dan going to take a bad nade, going to have to back off. Good kill from Frosty, but gets traded back. Bo looking, going to throw some plasmas. Might be able to trade this. Can't quite get it. No follow-up there. Jolly looking to get involved, throwing his nades out. Trying to find an angle. The Knights up four, but it's going to come down to the wire. You got to play your life. You got to get smart kills. Here we go. Dirty Dan, he gets one. Can he get the second one? Yes, he does. Good job by him. It's Dirty Dan and Bo. Four kills to go to take the second game. Bo pushing in, looking for the kill. Doesn't care about the nades. He'll push right through it. That's what a man does. Three kills to go. The Knights need to clutch up. Two to go. Overshield coming up. You cannot afford to give up an overshield in a clutch situation like this. The Knights are here, but here comes York. York knows that if we get the overshield, it might as well be GG. They're getting pushed on. They're pushing up as well. Dan's getting pushed back. One here goes Bo. Bo going through the middle. The Knights are falling, but Bo and Jolly both fall. One kill for the Knights. Can they clutch it? And they do. Dirty Dan finds the kill. He may have the least kills in the game, but he gets the most important one. And that off the back of Bo Jiden carrying this series. Clutching up in game one. Most kills in game two. The Knights are up 2-0 versus York College. And this is looking fantastic. Yeah, I know. Someone wanted to win there. Yeah, get a little worried right after that first play. I was worried. Round five. I was worried. Uh, it's, it's tough. But the Knights do such a good job playing consistently. Right, We play our lives. Sometimes we get caught up. But, you know, we, they, they did a great job. Like, gather yourselves again. Right, Get our mental back. Back to where we need to be to... to Get like you said. We need to get fifty kills. We need we, we need to get fifty kills. We need to get fifty kills, and and not die, not die yeah. repeatedly. And they did a fairly good job of that. I think obviously close fight. The both teams, you know, fighting at a very close level. Um, but the nice consistency there. I just really like it. Even even though I think we lost three or four overshields. Um, the Knights were just very well organized and ready yeah. to respond to those. I was so worried. When they had the overshield and we couldn't <laughs> oh, get the I sniper, I was like, dude, this is like six kills they're going to get off of this. But the Knights, like, the, the coordination that I'm seeing, it's like we're at our worst when we're winning because we're not, yeah. we're not like, desperate. There's a focus loss. Yeah, but that, when that. we're focused and we're desperate, they are playing so good. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Out of their minds. Um, so hopefully we, we start off weak. Uh, going into game number three, <laughs> and we're able to pull it back and come with the win. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm somewhat worried. This is a stronghold streets. Now that doesn't worry me. I, we love streets. We're good at yeah. streets. What I'm worried about is those are our two best maps. So if we drop this, they have a reverse sweep angle because surely the maps that are coming after this are going to be dreadful. Aquarius, yeah, yeah Aquarius. Yeah. No, you know, we're, we're not going to lose this. We're, not gonna lose this. <laughs> we're feeling good, right? We're riding that momentum. Yeah, Maybe not too yeah. much, but. Um, <laughs> The nice, I think, looking very strong, um, very coordinated, and and they're adapting to the to the changes yeah. of map and the changes of, of objectives very well, I think, and that bodes well uh, going into game number three, uh, where now you know York's got to be pretty flustered, right? This is this is it. This, this is, is the last it. chance. This is right? it. Yeah. 
So, you know, everyone fighting for their playoff lives here. All these games matter so much. Um, I think, you, to your point, York definitely on the back foot now. Um, and losing that game where, you, you know, and, and even with the flag, like these have been close matches, right? Oh, absolutely. Like, and, and it, was a, it was a one flag cap. Yeah, right? like, it was a one flag win. And so I think, just like you said, I think the Knights are just adapting better in game uh, where maybe they're not better at shooting or better at, you know, specific things, but their ability to adapt, to play together, to be in the moment is what's putting them ahead right now. Um, and so I'm hoping that continues new stronghold obviously going to be a game mode where coordination is key uh but also a game mode where you know you can kind of get like in a bad spot if they get on the stronghold they defend it so i want to see the knights come out with that aggression and see if they can you know be out on top and just close this one out without having to be close um at the same time with that aggression i like i like the measured aggression that we yeah have. yeah uh, obviously it's very fairly easy, I think, on streets, um, as much as we like it, to, to kind of push a little too far. You get just into the line sight, because it's, it's a bit of a grid map, right? It is. Out, those, those sight, uh, lines of sight are, are fairly easy to just accidentally step into, and suddenly you've got two guns on you, which are very hard to fight. <laughs> yeah, so... And that's a mistake we've seen, you know, teams make time and time again here. Yeah, but, and this is actually... I, I feel like we haven't seen Strongholds in forever, because we usually see, we've been seeing King of the Hill. And so yeah, this, this is Stronghold yeah. where there's, like, A, B, C, right? So... I feel like we haven't seen this. This might be the first match of the season, I feel like, for this. Um, if not, it hasn't been more than one. Um, but, yeah, this is where I think it's, it's... definitely, like, it's, it's got to be my favorite. Yeah, yeah. Like, like it, objective, though. It's, it's, it's a, pretty it's crazy, you know, because there's a lot of strategies. There's a lot of, you know, differing opinions on what the best course of action right. is to do. From here? Um, you know, some people like to just roam around the map, cap as they go. Um, where others like to, like, you know, take Play two defense. points. Yeah, 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 yeah and yeah. hold them. Um, and every map's different, right? So, yeah, it's going to be the ABC. So, Knights spawning at A, or um, at C, rather. Not A, I think, right? Yeah, oh, we're on the wrong people. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, we're spawning at A. Um, but, yeah, so, there is the Spanker. So, the Bazooka is is online if you're able to get that. Looks like the Knights should have been able to get that right there. Yeah, it's going to be in both. <laughs> 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 yeah, I was about to compliment them. I was, like, I was about to compliment Why them. Why did you switch? To this that, was that was a mental. Great. That was a mental <laughs> curse. You know, I was like, you know, he's been carrying. That's who else would I want the right. rocket launcher with? We shouldn't have talked about that. Yeah, that was unfortunate. So, uh, but yeah, like I was saying, uh, you know, it doesn't matter where you spawn. Uh, because this map is going to be very fluid, very changing as people take points. So you're seeing right now that uh, York has A, C. We have B. We're capping A. Uh, here comes York over to B. So you got to just, it's organized chaos, you know. So York is. is doing the go around as four uh, strategy. Uh, so that 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 works. Um so long as you can keep winning these fights. If, yeah. If suddenly, the second you drop a fight, it's not looking so well. That's how I like to play, but... Um, you know, this, these are such these teams are so close in their fights. It feels a little risky. It does, it does, and I, I like I think B is the most important point in this because uh, it's the hardest one to take. I feel like um, it's you know you can lob grenades in there you know from a distance. So if you, you if you lose a fight, you can still spawn up, get grenades. All right, so we're seeing Bo actually go for C. So this is an interesting strategy here. You you know they're gonna take A, we're gonna take C, and it's like kind of a rotation. Uh, Which is great when you're holding B, right? Like, yeah, that's, yeah. That's the right play to make unless you lose the 1v1. Yeah, if you lose the 1v1, it's not good. But we also have some defense going at A. So the Knights opting into splitting their resources, uh, which can be risky... Um, but it can also be huge payoff because if you have all three, you're going to get double points, um, which can be huge. So, you know, he's actually not going to be watching his back there. So Freeze will go down. Bo has the bazooka. Let's see if he can redeem himself. We'll come wanna, up. Don't want to watch. Can't grab that one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he won't get the kill. Not, not the best bazooka usage I've seen. Uh, maybe we need to move him off of the bazooka. I think he can do it a third time. We're looking for a record here tonight. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So... Let's see, Jolly with a kill there. Jolly doing well. Dirty Dan also coming out good with kills. The Knights are down a little bit in the cap points. Um, it's going to be first to 250. So, you know, 20 to 30, not that big a deal at the end of the day. Uh, it's really just about getting organized, and, and, and neither team really looking that organized as of yet. No, I mean, fairly got it. We see some some kind of game plan, right, that's happening in the, in the background. But it similar to um, Capture the Flag, right, There's there's this element of, just you gotta kind of play it by ear. Like what's happening is happening. Like if we win these fights, uh, great, we can keep going. If we don't, we gotta pull back. We gotta adjust. Maybe we, we go for a sneaky 
you know, yeah. C cap or whatever, but two coming down. Jolly's holding off the right side, trying to just delay. He's going to try to pull back, but we're also losing the left side. Everyone else is dead, so the Knights lose the gunfight, but they end up spawning at sea, so they will take that, and that's kind of the, the ring around the rosy that can happen uh, uh, in this game mode, which is pretty troll, uh, but it is what it is. Frothy going to push up. The Knights going to go try to retake B, and they will do so, so... I thought that was actually going to be detrimentally bad, but somehow the Knights found a way to not really lose out really that badly. I thought that that oh, us getting four man wiped was going to yeah. be I mean, it wasn't bad, good. but but we Knights did such a good job before that. I think you give yeah. yourself a bit of a cushion, right? And their you ability to times. yeah, their ability to like grow like like organize out of the spawns. I think is really what they're doing well tonight. Uh, we, we spawned great double, double kill, kill here from Frosty Freeze. Just going at it. Anything but a BR for this guy. And he'll pop off. He's got the laser beam. Can't quite get the kill. Trying to get some cover there from Bo with the Sentinel. Can't quite do it, though. There's the bazooka, but we'll get taken down by Jolly. Great kill bomb from him. Dirty Dan going in trying to get this. They do not want to give the rockets to All Bo. Right, round three. Dan has the rockets, so it should be fine. No, no, no. He's going to keep it running. He's going to keep it going. <laughs> Surely he can survive. He's going to push up. He's looking for a kill here. The Knights have BC. <laughs> he's trigger happy. Look at it. He's ready. And this is the points tick, tick, ticking away. Yeah. No, you have two consistently. Like, this, I mean, the game, they're just ending the game. Slowly. Oh, and he wants it. He get it. All right. He's showing Boha. Then there we go. Oh, There's two of them. Triple kill. kill. Dirty Dan. Goes crazy with the triple kill, showing <laughs> <laughs> Bo how it's done. Yeah. <laughs> if ever, I mean, if ever weapon to do it, it's gonna be the bazooka, right? But but well played, good fights, and that just makes like how are you, crawling your clawing your way back into this game as as you're gonna be very difficult here. One thirty six to thirty three now, right? Like yeah, no knights with a good lead here. Uh, definitely just got to keep slaying out, lose two, but, and I got to shout out Dirty Dan, you know, not just a triple kill, he's been slaying out in, in this whole day, uh, in, in game one, he was top fragger for a while, even if, you know, Bo was the hero in the, in the long run, Dirty Dan definitely consistent today, uh, uh really putting on the Jets, and same with Jolly and Frosty Freeze, obviously, uh, uh performing well. Yeah, everyone's but, really stepped up to the yeah. play, they, right? And that's what, that's what happens, like, when that comes together, that's how you, you 3-0 a team, um, which hopefully we... Which is we're on track to do it right now. I think so. I don't want to jinx it. We, <laughs> there's no it. way we could lose it. There's this, no right? way we bazooka the wall, right? <laughs> <laughs> or the guy's leg right Bo, now. Bo, <laughs> gonna try to win this. Gonna back off. And Bo's just been in this tower, I, I feel know. like, for an hour. This, this man is dumping bullets out and Yeah, and this is, he's gonna run out of ammo at some point, but. This is exactly what you love to see. He's playing his life. He's being smart. He's got least deaths in the game by a far. And, you know, um, just kind of scouting around. All right. That's not, all right we're going <laughs> to go switch off of that. We're going to switch off of that. All right. Bye. Let's move over to a different cam here. Frosty going to go down on B site. Dirty Dan as well. It's up to Jolly. What can he do? He's going to oh, go down. So cap. a triple cap here. And the comeback has started for York. The Knights got to regroup. They got to find a way to, you know, you know, stay the course, get these respawns organized. You don't want to be. This is exactly what I'm praising them for. So I'm trusting them to do it correctly. You do not want to go crazy, just run whenever you spawn. You want to get organized. You want to have a plan. Jolly will go down, but two dead for York. And you only get points if you have two or more, right? So the yeah. Knights now have stopped gaining points. They got to regain B or C. Frosty's going to go and try to cap C, but the back cap is always risky. You can also leave them at B, but it's hard to defend A and C at the same time. All right, so Jolly will go down. Melee in the dome. Good kills here. Dirty Dan with a double kill. He will lose his life for it. Both oh, is going to go over take B, and now it's, if we can take A, B, this could be the position that we win with. Jolly here as well. You're going to cap faster with multiple people, and you got to be ready for the C push. But triple cap here for the Knights briefly. A actually going to be taken from by York, so it's going to be a BC angle. Here goes Bo looking in. We'll get a from the grave there, so good job from him. Dirty Dan actually taking A, so. Yeah, I think, you know, there's a certain advantage that happens a lot, right? If you take an AC, what, they're going to go to one or the other, right? At which point you just take B back in. And yeah. Did a great job of that. And this is like, there's kind of a mini game when you have a, such a big lead is you don't really have to be just smart. No pressure, you right? just keep capping. Just you just keep get capping, stuff. get two points. Okay. And then run around in circles and they get one <laughs> point and you get two points and you, you know, like, and you'll eventually win. It's not pretty. Um, but, but it is a way to win once you have a lead like this. Right. But the Knights. Points off exactly. Victory, I mean, it's. 
the knights fun. don't need to do such such trickery though they 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 are slaying out um they should be able to just get this one done the right way here comes the bazooka will <laughs> he takes one back oh, he, says, <laughs> he will. i saw you yeah i saw you bro <laughs> he just hugs him though harry potter style takes him with him and, and, and that's the rockets down so dirty dan Picked will eat the again. second rocket can't quite get that one but frosty in a 1v1 doesn't have any help so the Knights still eking points, though. They may be losing some of these gunfights, but the points are tick, tick, ticking away. B is getting under control, but here comes the push from the Knights. Can they get there? Dirty Dan looking, not going to let them get B easily. The Knights will possibly lose C. Yes, they do, but they still retain control over B. So now they can either decide to go A or C. It looks like they're going A. Frosty trying to get that wide angle. Here comes the triple man push from the Knights, but you got to imagine that York is moving to B as we speak. Jolly's going to take that kill. Going to cap A as York caps B. A a little bit easier to organize from. Now we can push back to B, and here we go. The Knights are just rabid dogs out here, running and gunning, taking everybody with them, trying to get control of this grouping as four. They will get the double kill here for Bo. Bo once again trying to be the hero. Trying to hold him off at the staircase. The Knights can't quite get control of B here. It's up to Frosty Freeze. He will get that kill, but can't oh, quite get the cap. So sad. And so the Knights aren't scoring points. Comeback still alive here for York. Still trying to stay alive in this best of five. Dan moving over with Jolly. Jolly trying to get position here. Trying to get a foot on that space to start capping. You do have to expose yourself, and grenades might be coming. They do get it almost capped, and they will. So the Knights are scoring once again. They just have to hold on to A, hold on to B. Good double kill here for Frosty Freeze. The Knights closing in on victory, closing in on this best of five win here against your college. Two dead, another double kill for Frosty Freeze. The Knights one point away, and that'll be it. The Knights with a clean 3-0 victory, and this team is looking totally different than what we saw at the beginning yeah, of the season. Yeah, I mean, this is fantastic. We love to see, like, finally, hard-earned. Harder season, yeah. like these victories, like coming in, we're, we're, we're work for them hard, um, but well deserved. Like, like the the organization was there, the game plans were there. Um, we were at two two man, two two guns on every man, right? Like lots of stuff that that we talked about, um, that we've hoped, and we know these guys can do and put together. And, and when it all comes together like that, it's a nice, neat package. We get a three zero, um, just well played nights. You know, you know yeah. work there, due respect. They, they made a great Hail Mary play, I think, at the end uh, to go for it. But nice. Just played really clean, really consistent. And that's that's how you win. Yeah, no, 100%. I think, you know, the Knights had a game plan that came out. They executed. They adapted well. Um, they gave what the enemy, you know, gave them. Um, they took it. And I think, you know, this is the kind of Knights we wanted to see, you know, this season. And they're really they're really showing up. They're really impressing me. Um, and giving us a good show, you know, to boot. So, <laughs> yeah, that's uh, you know, we do have – all right, so our next match coming up is going to be against Fisher. Um, you know, we'll see how that goes. Not looking great on our that favorite. front. Our favorite. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, these cross conference matches, we're undefeated in cross conference play. You know, and that just goes to show how doomed our conference really is. <laughs> you know? I mean it's tough, but but you know, the the, the hottest fire we could have been put in, right? And I yeah. think that's really really forged these guys into something, right? And and Yeah, and that's where it's gotten so much better. Like the whole point of the cross conference is to make up games for your conference play, you know, so uh, they, these games do count the same. They're weighted the same. So uh, picking up these, you know, every time we dip into another conference, we're taking the dub. Uh, so the more games we get, the more we will be dubbing up. So, you know, great job here tonight. Uh, really proud of these guys. Hopefully we'll be able to snowball this into our next few matches. So make sure you guys stay tuned. We'll try to keep you up to date when we're playing, how long we're playing. Um, but, yeah, if you haven't caught the rest of the streams, make sure you look those up. Um, but, yeah, so that's. That's all the streams we have on the on the menu for tonight. It's just Halo going on right now. Rest of the seasons have kind of rounded out. Halo going strong, though, still win and still trying to make that playoff push. So uh, make sure you guys stay tuned, um, and we'll keep you updated, and we'll see you next time.